And we have ourselves a match here, ladies and gentlemen. Get your popcorn. Let me catch you up to speed. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on tennis. But Jorklin took the first set 6-4. But the reality here is Alicia Parks handed it to her on a silver platter. Seven double faults, nearly two service games for free. Thank you very much. I will take that. Now, but Jorklin's a solid player. She had a decent 2022, nearly 40 win season. We saw her take out Sarah Irani who was very disrespectful, by the way, to the queen, Venus Williams. And this is Venus Williams 2.0. Do you want some coffee or something? Hurry up. Wow. We saw her take out Victoria Golobic, Heather Watson, Simona Walter. That was a good win. Leola Janjan, Bonjour Komotale Vu. And Alicia Parks has had some impressive wins as well, right? Taking out Pliskova in her home country. We saw her <laughs> take out another Czech player, former junior number one, Silver medalist Marketa Von Drusova. We saw her take out former rank number four in the world, Carolyn Garcia. That's right. That was an impressive win uh, to capture her first main tour championship. We saw her take out the Greek goddess, right? Rebecca Peterson. Alicia Parks, one of the best serves on tour, but she's back in this match. She takes the second set. She reduced her double faults from seven in the first set to only one. Uh, she's got 10 aces so far on the match. And look, but Jorklin could not hold on any longer. Alicia Parks would break her in the 10th service game, and we're tied up at one set apiece. Now, this chair umpire, I think, is a good chair umpire, even though I saw Victoria Azarenka disrespect her uncalled for. I mean, just question her authority. Victoria Azarenka used to have a bad reputation. I think she cleaned it up a little bit, but what she said to this chair umpire was uncalled for. Why is she a good chair umpire? She gave Alicia Parks time to challenge to play. There was some confusion. Most chair umpires would have just went on to the next point. No, she let her challenge to play even though she lost it. And the crowd's finally getting warmed up here. They're starting to cheer for the American. She heads to the bathroom break. We're getting ready for the third set. She gets her racket strong. Remember, she likes it at 45 pounds. What does that mean? That means uh, a lot of power on the serve. That's why she's one of the fastest servers on tour. Look, she played a lot of lower level matches last year. I would even argue that she probably holds the record for fastest serve ever. But the reality is when you're playing on the lower level, they don't track serve speeds. But we saw what she did at the U.S. Open, tying Venus Williams for the fastest serve on record. Uh, 45 pounds, that's how she like it. It's a, it helps you. It helps with a powerful serve, but the control can be a little a little rough, which is why the, the good top spin players can frustrate Alicia Parks a little bit, a little bit and force her into deep rallies. But we're getting ready for the, the third and final set, excuse me. Uh, 11 winners, she reduced her unforced errors in half, actually more than half, only eight in the second set, 11 winners. So uh, pretty good job for Alicia Parks, guys. We're headed to third set, and uh, she's now the favorite to win the match. We're going to see if Alicia Parks can hold on and serve it out. This is good energy. Show these ladies some love. Thanks for the love and support. I appreciate it.